Saka Fet YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My little brother is still here and he wanted my take on a yummy surf and turf. And you know I have to deliver, right? So we're making some lamb chops. We're making everything good. Stick with me. Some of you have been asking me, what does Saka Fet mean? It actually means, how are you? How are you doing today? What's going on with you? It's basically a greeting you give to a friend or to anyone when you just want to check to see how they are. That's all it means. So whenever I say Saka Fet YouTube, I just mean, what's going on YouTube? Hello my darlings! I'm still nursing this cold, but I'm slightly better, but hey, a cold won't stop me from going in that kitchen, eh? So I went to Morrison's this morning and I got some of these lamb cutlets and I think it came to about 10-12 pounds roughly for the four packs. And I'm gonna start by cleaning it up. I want to remove all that excess fat because if I was grilling, I'd probably keep them on. But because I'm gonna be pan frying this, it's just gonna create too much oil in the pan. So I rather remove it. Now, if you don't want to remove it, that's up to you. But I'm gonna start by removing all of that fat, clean it up, and just chop off any excess fat. Then we're gonna clean it up with some lemon juice, cool water, let it dry, and then we're gonna season it up. Now that it's all cleaned, let's go. I'm going to add a little drop of oil to this, followed by some salt. I'm also going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to add some freshly cracked black pepper. I prefer the freshly cracked black pepper for some reason. I'm going to add some of my homemade green seasoning. going to add some soy sauce to this, and I'm going to give it a really good mix. Now you want to set it to one side. For the sauce, I'm going to go in with some soy sauce. I'm going to go in with some honey as well as some sweet Chinese sauce. And I'm going to give that a really good mix and set it to one side. At this time, my lamb has probably been marinating for about maybe 10-15 minutes. You don't need too long, but if you have lots of time, feel free to marinate as long as you like. In a clean pan, I went in with a little drop of oil as well as some butter. And I'm going to pan fry this for about 10 minutes, about 4-5 minutes on either side and this is literally all you need um, you can cook yours however long you like this is really soft and tender lamb so it doesn't require that much cook time but yeah after about four or five minutes I went ahead and flipped it over and then I cooked it for a further five minutes before removing it from the pan Thank you. 
now that my lamb has been removed from the pan i'm gonna add this garlic in there but then i noticed the bottom was a little bit too burnt now i know some of you will say this is flavor keep it in if you want to but i didn't want to so i removed mine and then i added in the sauce let it simmer on low heat with the garlic for about five minutes or so and then you want to go back in with your lamb making sure to pour the remaining juices at the bottom of that bowl that the lamb was sitting in and you just want to coat it in okay i'm going to coat it in the sauce give it about two more minutes and my lamb was ready this was so soft it was so tender and you don't really need to cook this long trust me Now that my lamb was cooked, I worked on some mashed potatoes and this is about six large potatoes that I peeled and chopped. I added some water to a pan and I added some salt. Let it boil for about 10 minutes or until the fork goes through easily. Then you want to drain it off and then I'm just going to go ahead and mash it. Now you know, usually when I make my mashed potatoes, I like to use my hand mixer. But for the life of me, from since I moved, I haven't seen it. My husband said it's in a box somewhere, but to be honest, every time I think about going to find it i end up doing otherwise okay <laughs> i'm also gonna add in some butter and i'm gonna season lightly with a little bit of salt black pepper and garlic powder give it a good mix again and you just want to mash this until it's smooth enough to your own preference i'm gonna add some double cream as well and a good substitute is heavy cream if you don't have double cream give it a good mash again work those muscles and yes darlings the mashed potato was ready Last but not least, we had some greens. These don't take long to steam, about five minutes is all you need. And I like to just cut the tips. Are uh, you guys team cut the tips off or leave it as is? I think my granny would roll in her grave if I left the tips on. So here I am cutting it off tip by tip. I'm gonna give it a good rinse as well. And then season lightly with a little all-purpose seasoning, a little black pepper, a little butter, and just let it steam on low for about five minutes. Oh, this is everything all done this is literally dinner in about half an hour it doesn't take that long at all everything came out so beautiful and you know it's time to plate it up funny enough after i finished plating it up because i added just you know a little bit of everything to the plate getting nice and gorgeous i actually baked some shrimp but that was for a separate recipe i was like you know what why don't i add some shrimp to the plate i plated it up and it ended up turning out to be a surf and turf but hey I'll share the recipe for the baked shrimp in another video if you guys are interested. But yeah, look at how beautiful the lamb chops came out though. Look at the sauce. Everything looks so good. And like I said, this was literally it. 
and then I added the shrimp and it took it up a notch. But yes, darlings, this is literally dinner for my little brother. So I really hope you enjoy the recipe. Try it soon. Let me know if you like it. It's been a pleasure having you here. And I can't wait to see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.